Okay, so today what we're going to do, um, we've got some footage from the boys from Poland in Warsaw. Um, and a big thanks um, to Phil for sending this out. Um, he's asked to look at his players um, and just give them some simple um, things to work on. So hopefully I don't overload you here, boys, but I just want to give you maybe two or three things that you can take your kicking to the next level and hopefully help you guys out. So it's awesome to see you guys playing the best game in the world in Poland. So well, let's help you out. So the first one, and please excuse if I don't pronounce your name right, but the first one is Radik. Um, and we're going to have a look at you, mate. So first thing I want to look at is your stride pattern, boys. So we want to try and keep a consistent stride pattern. Um, get your feet active early and then try to keep your stride pattern consistent each time. So we don't want big, large steps and little steps throughout. Try to keep it consistent. So having a look at Radik here, we'll just go on a little bit of slow-mo. Um, all right, so Radik's got the ball. Um, and now he is starting to move. So he's walking. Okay, and he's starting to get into a jog, and there's his contact phase there, all right? So, Radik, that's good. For you to go to the next level, mate, I'd like to see you kick at um, at a little bit more speed, but this is a good way to start. Just get in that nice jogging motion, keep that stride pattern, okay, and that should be good. All right, so the next thing I want to look at with Radik is your ball grip, mate, okay? So, um, as I scroll here, I'm going to zoom in, all right? And I'll put a circle on it about now, okay? So it's interesting to see, Radik, that you're, you look like you're holding the ball underneath it, mate. So you're scooping under the ball, um, which it does allow for a, a low ball drop, but it really doesn't give you great flexibility for control and things like that. So I would like to shift your ball grip, mate. Um, I want both hands on the side of the ball, um, and you can hold it lower on the ball, but um, I would like them either lower or higher on the skinnier side. And I've got some drills that will help you out to do that. So we might show them at the end. When you are gripping the ball, mate, make sure your fingers are spread. So we're holding the ball. Your fingers are spread and you apply pressure to the ball. Okay. Um, and again, I'll show you those drills. The reason I want you to grip the ball like that um, is it's going to allow for control. All right. So we'll unzoom there. The next thing I want to look at, Radik. Because you've got this um, ball grip, you can see your balance arm is starting to come off now, okay? And it comes off to there, okay? So it's coming off at a low point. Um, so I'm going to encourage you when you get your ball grip right, just to lift the ball a little bit or push the ball out. And then um, you can start the ball drop phase. The reason we like to lift the ball a little bit is our balance arm comes straight off rather than coming off at that low point here and then all the way up, which can affect your stability. All right, so ball grip, um, the balance arm and things like that. The next part, mate, is that contact point, okay? So the one thing I want you to work on, I'll show you a picture here. See that leg, I'll draw a line, that is reaching for the ball, so it's not gonna give you much power. We actually want that lower leg to contact the ball um, straight there, so that allows you to get the power through the football, okay? It's really good to see your eyes are on the footy, um, that's great, mate. That's probably the most important thing. And the position of the ball looks pretty good there as well, straight up and slightly leaning forwards. The last point for you, Radik, is this foot position. So that is really good there. Firm foot, you're actually pointing the foot down towards the grass, but you just need to keep it firmer for longer. So watch this as you contact. See that? Your foot is pointing upwards. So I'll show you a photo here. Your foot should actually be firmer throughout, and that'll give you more power, mate. The last thing is your follow-through. Okay, so you contacted, follow through, good. Leg swing should go to hip level about there, which is good. Um, but I would like you to get more momentum through the footy this way. So I would actually like to see you get out of camera, out of the footage here. So keep going about five meters after you kick towards the target, Radik. That would be awesome. All right, so a couple of things to work on there, mate. Um, the only other thing that I could see, um, and I might, might be overloading you here, mate, but just for the sake of it, is this balance leg here. I'd like to see you get some more power off that. Um, so as you can see, when you're kicking, you're not really getting any drive off this foot here. So that should be moving um, this way, and it should be coming off the ground a little bit just to get that little bit more power. All right, so Radik, you're done. There's a few things there you can work on. Okay, let's have a look at who's next. Sam, the big fella. 
All right, so Sam, we'll look at your stride pattern, mate. So we'll do that in slow-mo. Here we go. Okay, so Sam, already, mate, what I'd like to see you to do is get more steps. So I'd like to see you, um, I'd like to see you start your run here and contact the ball at that marker. So that'll give you about six steps at least to get that. So start, you can start maybe walking and then get into a bit of a jog and try to hit the consistent stride pattern. Okay, so that's the first thing for you, Sam, is that stride pattern and more steps. That should help you. All right, let's have a look at everything else there. So we'll just go back. Okay, so again, Sam, you've, you've got a, a similar ball grip to um, Radik. I'll zoom in. It's probably, you can see that your hand, okay, is holding the ball underneath. Uh, it looks like sort of underneath there a little bit. Okay, so you're scooping the ball underneath. I want you to put your hands down the seams. Okay, and you're holding it like that. I might get a footy soon. Um, and I want you to spread your fingers out and practice where you want to hold it. I like to try to hold it on the skinnier ends, either up the top or down below. Okay, so I've got a couple of drills for that, which will help. And you're the same again as Radik, mate. I'd like to see you actually, this ball here, I want to see you um, actually lift the ball first and then guide it down. Okay, but that's something we can look at. All right. Um, the reason, mate, I would like to see that ball get up a little bit higher is so this balance arm can come off easier. Because you can see this balance arm here, okay, it's got to come off all the way and it's going to affect your stability, okay? So let's have a look. So there, all right, you're doing a good job with your eyes on the ball too, mate, okay? So your lower leg is in a little bit better position than Radik, but it's still searching. It's, it should be vertical, so that's pretty close. That's not bad. Um, we want to be trying to be in that upright position. So you, you're pretty good there, mate. Um, but I'll show you a photo of what a professional looks like. And that's all to do with having a strong core and things like that. Okay. Um, let's see what your the ball position looks pretty good. So you want to hit the ball on the mid to upper shoelace. Um, so you look like you're achieving that. And the ball position, um, that looks pretty good as well. Let's have a look at measure contact. All right. Nice firm foot there from you, Sam. There we go. So firm foot. Try and keep that firm foot there. Um, keep your eyes on the ball at contact. So that's looking okay. All right. And you can see with your follow through, your leg, you're getting a good leg swing, mate. So you're getting that leg swing um, to hip level, which is good. But you're getting little to no momentum through the footy. So I want to see you finish. Um, your body should finish up here. So after you kick, Let's get momentum this way all the time towards your target because you're really getting no momentum. You're stopping there. So that's a huge one for you. I reckon if you just focus on that, you'll be sweet. Okay. So for you, Sam, ball grip um, and that momentum are the most important. Okay. Now all right. Let's have a look at Peter. So we'll put you in slow-mo, mate. And again, we're just going to look at your stride pattern. Okay, so I want active feet to get moving. So get those feet moving. Nice, one, two, three, good. Okay, so you've got a good stride pattern there, mate. You did about a three-step kick. I would like to even encourage you just to maybe, let's get a four to six-step kick, okay? So that's you've got a nice, consistent stride pattern there, mate. One, two, and three. Now, I like your ball grip, Peter. So they're a little bit different to the other boys. And this is something that um, the other boys can probably learn off. So this is what we want, okay? We want the fingers um, pointing towards the grass at this stage, which is good. We also want the fingers to be spread out, okay? So you can see there that they're pretty spread out. So you want some on the front side, most of your fingers on the front side of the ball, and maybe one or two fingers at the back to allow um, for control, all right? So that's what we need to work on. And then it doesn't matter where your hand is positioned. Some people's hand um, might be more up to the top. Some people's might be more up to the bottom. And some might be in the bellies like Peter. But as long as you can control the ball, I'm happy. So that's a good ball grip. So we need to learn off Peter there. Well done, Peter. All right, so let's see what he does. So the thing you need to work on, Peter, is you can see here you've got a bit of a two-hand ball drop. So what we can work on is guiding the ball down with one hand, okay? So at that moment there, you're dropping it with two hands, and I like to call it like opening the trap door, where we like to guide the ball down with one hand, all right? As the other hand's guiding, the other hand comes up for balance, and I've got some drills that can help you with that, 
All right, so it's good to see um, your eyes are firmly fixed on the ball, okay? So make sure at contact that our eyes are on the ball. It's the most important thing. Don't lift your head and your eyes up this way to the target. Keep them on the ball, but you're doing a pretty good job of that, okay? Um, contact. So you can see again, Peter, you're very similar to the other lads. At contact, um, your leg is out here where you should be contacting the ball close to that vertical because you're losing a lot of power. Um, all your power is gone and you're contacting here. So that's something that we can work on. Um, what else have we got? Contact, how's your foot look? So that ball position, Peter. So you can see the ball position is going this way. Okay, we actually want the ball position more upright and slightly leaning forward. So we need to work on that and that ball drop should help that, mate. Okay, so I've got some drills and I'll show you some pictures um, about that. Let's have a look at your foot at contact. All right, so for you, Peter, we need a firmer foot. All right, so see how your foot is pointing up this way. Um, what I would like it to do is point more down towards the grass if you can, mate, okay? Um, and then follow through, and excellent. So Peter, again, you're getting some good follow through, but I can just see um, that within your follow through, um, sorry, we're gonna get a curvy one here. You're, you're following through, but then you're curving around this way. What I want you to do is follow more towards your target, but at least you're getting some momentum um, that way. So kick and then follow through to your target. Try not to fall off the ball this way too much, but it's good how you're getting momentum through it, mate. All right, so Peter, you're done. So some clear things to work on there, buddy. Good job. All right, let's go have a look at... Now, I think this, um, you might pronounce it Simon, but in Australia, we call it Simon. So um, let's see how we go. Simon or Simon. Um, I like your training outfit, mate. Maybe we can send over some footy gear. I'll send you over a Collingwood jersey or something. So, mate, you've got a nice stride pattern there, okay? Good to see you get your feet active. One, two, three, okay? Let's keep that up, okay? So pretty good stride pattern. Um, and what you're doing, so let's have a look at your ball grip. All right, that's pretty good, mate, but I reckon we could spread our fingers out more, okay? And uh, maybe just adjust your fingers so you've got a little bit more on the front side of the ball where the laces are. Um, and I can show you some pictures here, um, and, and we've got some drills for that as well, okay? So that's good, mate. You've also, very similar to Peter, where oh, you've, you're starting to drop it with one hand, but it's, it's close to a two-hand ball drop, okay? So we need to start to guide that ball down a little bit more, okay, which you're starting to do. See, we're starting to there. So what we need to do, this arm here needs to be longer, Okay, so it's, you're really pushing the ball down um, onto your boot. So if you just lengthen that arm a bit and push that ball down, you'll be sweet, mate. Okay, as you're doing that, this arm here comes off for balance, and I'll show you a picture of that. Okay, so we, we can work on that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the drills and it'll make sense. Okay, from here, okay, we'll pause it at contact. Sorry, we'll get there. There it is. Okay, so mate, you can see here your body is in this uh, bit of a curve. So what we want is you more upright and even with some of these kicks, we can have you slightly leaning forwards to get that momentum through the footy. Okay, so try not to um, lean back so far. You've got your leg in a pretty good position um, and at contact, the ball looks pretty good. Okay, so that's what we want. The ball straight up and down and leaning forward that way. All right. And your foot, let's have a look how firm it is. Okay, again, pretty good firm foot. Make sure your eyes are on that ball. Don't lift your eyes. Make sure that foot stays firm. So similar feedback there. And then you're not getting a huge amount of momentum through the footy. So after you kick, I would like to see you go this way. Okay, and actually you should be out of frame that way. So try to, everyone in your team, once you kick, go five to six steps forward. Um, in the lot in line with your target with your hips and your shoulders sorry your shoulders and your hips square to where you're going all right so good work Simon let's have a look at someone else okay we've got Hubert I'm thinking you might pronounce it Ubert not sure but we'll, we'll stick with Hubert okay so let's look at your stride pattern 
Okay, looks pretty good, mate. So yeah, nine, two, three. You're taking a real large one at the end. Okay, maybe you can just try and keep it a little bit more consistent, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. Okay, and again, mate, you're doing the trap door. So you're holding the ball and then you're just letting it go. So we can work on guiding it down um, more with one hand. And again, I've got some drills that can help with that. All right, so we can work on that. And you're a left footer, which is good to see, something a bit different. Okay. So we're kicking. So just a point for everyone um, here. It's good to see that you're getting this leg back and also this knee is in flexion. The further you can get this, the closer to your um, bum there, the more power you're gonna get through the footy. So I'll show you a photo. Um, the really good AFL players get that leg right back and that's why they get so much power. And that's all hip mobility and flexibility, just a point of interest. Um, okay, so we really, yeah, we really need to work on that ball drop with your left guiding hand, mate. We need to guide and push the ball down. Um, and once you get to contact, okay, I'll show you a, a, some pictures there to, to, um, to compare. You can see the ball position is pretty good. Okay. You're straight up and down. That's not too bad. Let's have a look at what your foot does. Okay. And again, your foot is firm at contact there. That looks really good. Okay. Nice firm foot. Your eyes are on the ball. Okay. So keep doing that. Just keep it firmer for longer. And it just looks like your leg is actually probably, I, I reckon you would hook it a bit. Your leg's going around that way. So try to get your momentum in your leg flicking straight through if you can. Okay. But it looks like, I reckon you would be able to kick the ball a fair way, mate, looking at that. Okay. So let's look at you. Good. So you can see how he's getting, um, who was it? I think it might've been Peter or someone before. See how here with this balance leg, you're actually getting some power off it. So you're getting some lift and momentum um, sorry, we'll clear that one. You're getting some momentum that way, so that's good. All right, so a couple of things there, mate. The main one is trying to guide it down with one hand, okay? All right, Hubert, you're done. Next one is Matt. Okay, so again, Matt, let's have a look. Nice to see you in the um, kit, mate. Let's have a look. We need to get you some shorter shorts. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at your stride pattern. There we go. Okay, so walking, walking, and then a couple there. That's fine, mate. That, that's a good, um, looks like a set shot routine when you're going for goal. So you just want to build your momentum. So walk, walk, jog, jog, and then kick and keep it nice and consistent. Um, so one more look. Okay, that looks good. Let's have a look at your ball grips. I'm already, I'm liking it. Okay, so for all those other boys, have a look at that ball grip there. That's sort of what we want, okay? See how his fingers are well spread? Um, and there's some on this um, back part of the ball, which is good. And then the majority of them are up here. And you've got to put pressure on the ball with your fingers so you can control it. And you can see his arms are nice and long here. We don't want to be holding the ball up in our chest. We want them nice and long um, so we can minimize the distance there. So that ball grip we can learn off Matt, I reckon. That looks really good. Okay, here we go. Yes, and that's what I like to see. All right, so for all of us here, this is what we need to work on. See how Matt's got the ball nice and low, then he's lifting it, okay? So he's lifted it to about that chest region, okay? Once you've lifted it, then we need to push the ball down onto our boot, okay? So Matt's lifted it to there, and then he's pushing the ball down onto the boot. So you can see, Matt, at this stage, you're taking that hand away a little bit, I want you to continue and follow. I like to call it a wrist tilt. So it's there and then tilt your wrist down and stay connected with the ball. Okay, so I've got some drills there for you to help, Matt. Um, but I'm loving that you're lifting the ball a little bit. And as you can see, he's lifting. Look what happens with this. So this is his balance arm. So as he's lifting, it just comes off naturally. And look at that, it comes out. Okay, so that's why we lift the ball because the balance arm just comes off easy. It's crucial. Okay, so well done, Matt. I'm loving that. Okay, and then as you can see, Matt's going to get some pretty good contact on the ball there and follow through. So this is the big one for you, Matt. I need your follow through not to come. So you see how you contact there and your leg is actually going to come across here. So I need you to follow straight through. So boom. Yep. And see how that it's coming across your body there, Matt. 
So you're sort of going like this and then it's coming across. I need you just to go straight through to the target and that'll help your kicking. So don't fall away um, to your left you're doing. You're falling away to your left. I want you getting momentum through it. That'll help you heaps. That's the main thing for you, Matt. Momentum straight through with your hips and your shoulders square. So that, see there, your hips are facing this way where I reckon your target's out that way. So that's what you need to do. All right, Matt, you are done. Good job, buddy. All right, um, I think let's have a look at Sharik. Hopefully I got that right, mate. See how we go. So let's look at Sharik. We'll put you in slow-mo, have a look at your stride pattern. Okay, that looks pretty good, okay. Um, for you, mate, yeah, we might want to try and go a little bit quicker sometimes, but that's a good one, two, three... And yep, so at least let's get four to six steps when we're doing this stuff. And then when you're in a game, let's practice. And at training, let's get six to 10 steps and build up your speed when you feel comfortable. All right, so you, that's looking good. Let's look at your ball grip. Okay. Again, pretty good, mate. Um, so we're looking at your ball grip. If you wanted, see how your fingers, they're sort of pointing out this way. We could get them more um, running down the sides of the ball, uh, down the seam of the ball um, to get more control. But that's looking pretty good. Okay, and again, we're similar here, mate. You are getting, see how we're letting the ball go with two hands. So one hand comes back that way and one hand goes the other way. So what we need to do is when we lift the ball, then we need to push it down with one hand while the other one comes off the balance. Okay, so same sort of issues there as a lot of your other teammates, um, but it does take practice. It, it's not, not an easy thing to do, okay? But you can see, because you're dropping it from there, um, it, it's got a fair way to get to your foot. So I'll show you a photo um, of the AFL players. Um, there's your hips probably about there. See how it's a lot of the balls above your hips? Um, they control the ball all the way um, below their hips. So that's something, that's why we do it. All right, so let's have a look at contact. Okay, and you can see there, boys, that his lower leg is pretty much vertical, which some of us, our lower leg was out there, so that's good, Shereek. Um, his eyes are on the ball. This balance arm is up, which is pretty good, so we want that, um, the one that's not guiding the ball, we want that balance arm up for stability. Let's see what his follow-through is like. Okay. So a bit similar to the previous one, but I, I need that leg. Okay, you can see already, I can see that leg's coming across this way where it, it should be shooting out that way, okay? So boys, we need to keep our shoulders and our hips and our legs swinging straight through if we can. And I would like that follow through to at least that leg to get up to that hip region if you can, all right? And then again, after he kicks, yep, you're getting some momentum forward, okay? But again, are your hips and shoulders square to where you're kicking? And I don't know exactly where you're kicking, but you guys can give yourself some feedback on that. All right. So, Sharik, a bit, bit, few things to work on, but you're doing a lot of things right, mate. That's excellent. Matt, another Matt. Here we go, number two. All right, so Matt, yep, look at his active feet earlier. Okay, that's what I like to see. Get those feet going. All right, let's see if he stays consistent. All right, so for you, Matt, We'll do this in slow-mo because you're a good example. So you've got nice active feet, but you can see you slow down there and then you go to a walk, okay? So what I want you to do um, is try to keep that same um, jogging intensity and just keep going through your kick. Try not to slow down, okay? Even if you just do walking kicks to start and then try to do jogging kicks and keep the same stride pattern because in a game, you're going to have to do that or else you're just going to get tackled probably at this point here when you slow down. All right, so that's something you can work on there. Now, let's have a look at your ball grip. Okay, again, pretty good, mate. Okay, um, I think your fingers are more pointing in this region. You could get them more running down the sides of the seams like that, spread them out. Okay, I'm repeating myself a little bit, but that's okay. Um, let's have a look. And you're doing some good things there, mate. So you can see here how... You're lifting the ball a little bit or pushing the ball out. That's what I want you guys to do, okay? You can see how your arm is slightly flexed. That's what we need. That, that's the guiding arm. I'm not sure. I think you're a right footer. We'll have a look in a second. But we want to lift the ball um, close to that chest region if we can, boys. All right, so once you've done that, then what do you do? Okay, you're starting to guide it down with one hand. Look at that. So you're that's awesome. The only thing you need to do, so there's your guide. 
okay? The only thing you need to do is bring this balance arm, okay? You need to bring that up to that 90 degrees and I'll show you a picture. So as you're lifting, bring it up and keep it there, okay? Right through to contact. So this balance arm needs to, this balance arm here needs to come up at 90 degrees. But look at that, that's really good. We'll zoom in, okay? Starting to guide it. Could you guide it longer? Yes, you could, okay? So see this wrist here, okay? That wrist is fixed. What I need you to do is stay connected with the ball and actually tilt your wrist and push the ball down onto your boot, all right? So, mate, you've got real potential here, Matt, to turn that into a, a really good kick, okay? And then your contact, good, there it is. There's that vertical leg. Oh, one there, boom, okay? So there, that's something we can learn off Matt. Vertical, remember some of us are out there, so you should get some power through the footy. Nice, firm foot. And again, it looks like your hips and everything are facing out this way, but we need that leg. Well, I think your target is more there. So hips and shoulders square to the target, okay? And let's get more momentum through the footy. So get your momentum through here, about six steps through it, okay? Very good, Matt. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at Pierre. All right. So here's your stride pattern, one, two, three. That looks consistent, okay? So get your feet active, move, 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 and then we go from there. All right, so let's look at your ball grip. Okay, so it looks like, Pierre, you're holding the ball um, on, the, on the bottom half, which is fine. I'd encourage you guys to either go to the bottom or the top because that's the skinnier end of the footy, and it helps you control it. All right, so um, that looks, that's looking okay. All right, you're lifting the ball there. So lifting, but see this arm here. So this is your balance arm. It should actually, it should actually be up at 90 degrees. And that, that doesn't, I'll show you a picture of what it should look like where yours is basically just staying down, mate. Okay, so, you know, that's something we can work on there. Um, so as you're lifting the ball, this balance arm should be, should be coming up, okay? Um, this is good here, so this arm should be slightly flexed, okay? And then let's see how you drop it. So one hand, yes, so there's that one hand drop, boys, but you just gotta work on that balance arm. So there, you lose contact about there, and this is what we want. So you can see here, Pierre, there's your hips, and you've got most of the ball underneath your hips, okay, which is awesome. I'll show you a picture of what a really elite AFL player does. And then from there, it's not much distance to your foot. Okay, and you're actually pushing the ball down. All right, so this is looking good. That leg's vertical there. Look, and that's the best one so far. So look at his firm foot. If you boys want to improve your power and your accuracy, that's the firm foot we need. And see how he's got it for longer? Nice firm foot and momentum through the footy. Pierre, you legend, okay? So after we kick, bang, momentum through the footy. So I'm guessing, I could be wrong, but I'm guessing that Pierre is probably one of the um, gets one of the, the longest kicks in your team, I would say. All right, could be wrong, but let's see. So now we've got Kroll, okay? I might just fix that a little bit. There we go. Now we've got Kroll. Um, let's have a look at him. Okay, stride pattern. You've got long legs, mate. Okay, and it seems pretty even. So Kroll, probably for you, Let's. I'd encourage you to get a bit of a jog on but that's looking one, two, three, four, and kick. That's looking good, mate. Okay. Your arms are very rigid and stiff. You could be a little bit, it's nice to have them long, but you could be a little bit more relaxed in your arms, mate. Um, so they just, they stay long the whole time. So what you can do at this, you can lift the ball and have a slight flex in your arm when you're lifting and then extend your arm to straight. Okay. So I might show you one there just to um, demonstrate, but... Um, all right, your ball grip looks good, mate. Okay, you got big hands, it looks like, so that's an advantage. Um, but again, that's a good position. So your hands are well spread. That's what you want. Your fingers are pointing down that way so that you, your teammates can learn off that. That's really good. All right, you're a bit of a two-hand dropper as well. So I like to call that the trap door where you just take your both hands away. So we need to work on guiding it down with one hand and taking the balance arm off. So a lot of your teammates need to work on that. Okay. 
you can see there that you've contacted the ball quite high on your shoe. When we're contacting the ball, we want to contact it on the mid to upper shoelace. So you look like you've got it on the upper, but it might be a little bit too high there. Um, so mid to upper shoelace, the, the position of the ball is good. Um, so that's looking okay, mate. See how your leg, when you're contacting the ball, it's probably too far out. Your leg should be probably about there, and then you're going to get more power through it. So a lot of your teammates are the same with that as well. And you're getting good momentum. Okay, let's have a look at your leg swing. Good, nice leg swing. You could probably get this this leg up a little bit higher, um, but that's okay. You're getting some there, and you're getting some momentum. So I would like to see you at this point, okay, get maybe a couple more steps um, this way through the footy. So it's the same with a lot of you guys. Get momentum through the footy. All right, so there's Kroll. Good job, buddy. Next up is Elliot. So we'll go slow-mo for you, Elliot. Stride pattern one, two, three, four. Excellent stride pattern. So that's what we want to do. We want to at least get four steps. Okay, one, good. Uh, let's have a look at your grip. All right, so your grip's okay, but you can see you're not utilizing all of your fingers there, mate. So you're particularly that thumb and that little finger. We need to spread everything and apply enough pressure on the ball, okay, so you've got control. So that's something you can work on. All right, you're starting to lift the ball there, which is good. Look at that, okay? So see how he's starting to lift the ball? So um, Kroll, you can have a look at that. So he's starting to lift it. We can even lift it a little bit higher to the chest if you like, but that's a good start, mate. So as you're lifting, let's see if your balance arm comes off. No, it doesn't. So here, this balance arm, it actually needs to come up and it should be um, up like that, okay? So balance arm off, and I'll show you a picture. Um, balance arm comes off. Do you push it down with your right hand? So your guiding hand, and you're starting to, mate, which is good. So there, but you can just see this hand here, okay? You're sort of just taking it away. Oh, sorry. You're sort of just taking it away. Um, I need you to push the ball down with that wrist tilt, all right? So that's easy. Not easy, but um, it's something that we can work on. You can already see your ball position, mate, is affected here. So your ball position is that way, where we need it um, that way. So I can see already that that's going to be affected. Okay, so I'll show you a position, I'll show you a picture here of what the ball should look like, but yeah, it should be on that angle, not that angle, okay? So that's a big one. I can also see your eyes are probably out here somewhere. They need to be firmly fixed on the ball, mate, every time, okay? It's the most important thing, like a golf swing. All right, and then you follow through. Good, you're getting follow through. Let's see how you're getting a bit of drive off, um, off there, there's a couple of boys that could learn off you with that as well. So a bit of drive off the balance leg and you're getting follow through to the target. All right, next one. Um, who we got here? Jersey, I think it is. I just can't see your name, but I'm pretty sure it's Jersey. All right, here we go. Stride pattern, one, two, three. Nice, so your stride pattern's all right. Feet active, boom, 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 boom. That's looking all right. Ball grip. Let's have a look. All right, so you look like you're holding the ball on that back side of it. So I would, if I was you, shift a few of these fingers this way, okay? Just so you've got some coverage on the front bit of the ball, and then you should have some fingers on that back bit of the ball as well to allow for control. All right, so just a, a subtle shift there, Jersey. And, yep, and again, mate, you're holding it and then just trap door. You're taking your hands away, so we need to work on guiding the ball down with one hand. Um, and I'll show you the difference there. So you're lifting, lifting, but we just need to push the ball down with that right hand. So you can see, same as before, we'll go back one frame. Okay, if you have a look in there, there's that, that's the hand that should be guiding it, and that hand you're taking away. We need that hand to be coming down here and pushing the ball down onto that uh, kick leg there. All right. Okay, your balance arm starting to come off. Okay, you're reaching for the ball out there way too much. Okay, so out here, your leg should be in this region here. You've got a nice upright body, which is good, um, but you're just reaching for the ball too far out in front of you. And from here, you're just not getting enough power through it. Okay, but that's easily fixed. And you're getting great momentum through the footy. So as you contact, boom, through. All right. And I don't, again, I don't know where your target is. But hopefully your target is is out this way where your hips and your shoulders are, okay? All right. 
That's looking good. Okay, Jersey, Don, Rob, big unit. Here we go. Nice. Okay. So let's look at your stride pattern, Rob. Go one, some short ones, one, two, three, four. Yep, you could be a little bit more consistent, but I don't mind at the start that you just get your feet active. So a little, little, then get it going. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's looking good. Let's look at your ball grip. Okay. Good. Okay, so there's a good spread of fingers. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you can see there, you've got coverage of on the back side of the ball there. Okay. And there's some nice coverage there um, with a grip. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's keep going. Okay, you're lifting the ball, which is awesome. And then the balance arm's coming off. That's good. Okay, so we're, we're starting to get there. You're lifting the ball and that balance arm's coming off. You're lifting it to about your chest, balance arm's coming off. So a few of your teammates can help that. For you to improve, you just need to get it up to that 90 degrees. But that's pretty good, mate. All right. And then you can see you're guiding it down with one hand, okay? See that hand there? This hand, okay? Try not to take it away. I want you to follow it down that same side of your body and push the ball down with a wrist tilt, okay? That's where you can improve, but this is looking good, okay? And see there, there's your contact. That's good for you boys, all right? Try not, see how you're, you're just sitting back a little bit. If you can get a little bit more upright, you'll be sweet. So that's just switching your core on. All right, and you're getting good momentum through the footy, mate. That's awesome. All right, see that leg swing? Okay, well, that's where we want it, about to that hip level. And then he's also getting good momentum this way. Watch. Awesome. So that's one of the best momentums I've seen there from Rob. So well done, Rob. Adrian, let's clear that. Okay, so let's have a look. One, two, three. Awesome. Okay, so Adrian, that's good. Keep, keep going with your walking, and then when you feel more comfortable, start to jog, mate, okay? So, because you're gonna have to run and jog in a game, so just build your speed. So this is a good way to start training, and then I need your jogging. Okay, one, two, all right. And the big one for you, Adrian, is, let's have a look at your ball grip just there. Okay, ball grip looks okay. It looks like you're holding it on the back of the footy, so let's run our fingers down those seams, okay? Um, and spread your fingers. Um, all right, you're starting to lift the ball, but see this arm here, this arm's not doing anything. So we need to get that balance arm up. So as you're lifting the ball, the balance arm comes off. And then there's where you lose contact. And we need to control that ball a little bit lower. Okay, so you probably lose contact there. Okay, I'll show you a photo of where you should control. So this arm, this guiding arm, sorry, this guiding arm here needs to be longer and you need to stay connected with the ball longer, okay? With that wrist tilt, which I'll show you guys. And then the big one for you, mate, is you're getting no real momentum through the footy, okay? So if you start to jog a little bit and you get that momentum, it looks like your leg is, it's obviously swinging across this way. Try and keep it going that way and let's get, momentum i want you next time to finish up over here somewhere so once you kick try to finish up and end up over there okay big one for you because you're just getting nothing through the footy all right adrian that's good so a couple of things there to work on for you mate phil okay i think this could be the last one phil lucky last all right and phil's probably i'm guessing phil's an aussie but i'm not sure because he looks like he's well trained and he's done this a fair fair lot um, and Phil, it's probably the Phil that's contacted me. So the only thing wrong with you, Phil, is your Essendon jersey. Um, that is just rubbish. So I'm a Pies supporter, mate. But anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll have a look at you. All right, so here, here's what we can learn off Phil, okay? So Phil's just, just doing a walking kick at the moment, but you can see his stride pattern is the same, okay? So nothing really changes. Stride pattern's the same. Okay, let's have a look at his ball grip. I'll go back one. All right, so see the coverage on the ball, okay? Look at his fingers. There is fingers on the back. There's the down the seams and then on, on the front side. Okay. There's good coverage of all fingers um, there. Sorry about that. But you can see there that it's they're well spread and he's, he, it allows him for good control. Okay. All right. Let's have a look. So now, as Phil's walking in, he's lifting, lifting, lifting. Okay. 
So Phil lifts the ball higher than anyone, and he's got the most control. Phil lifts it to his chest, and then look what he does with this balance arm. Okay, it'll come up and over there like that. So as he's lifting, that balance arm is coming off, 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 and there it is. Okay, his balance arm is up, and you can see Phil controls the ball all the way, still in contact there, all the way to there. Guiding it down with one hand, and you can see all the ball is underneath that line. So that's where we need to get to. His eyes are firmly fixed on the ball as well, okay? And then kicking, you can see his leg is at that vertical where a lot of you boys is out there, okay? You can see he's got a bit of a funny balance arm, but it's up, which is fine. So you can see his balance arm is up at that 90 degrees, okay? Um, and his foot is nice and firm. So look at that foot, okay? Nice and firm, eyes on the ball. The only thing, Phil, for you that I think you can work on is this body position. So you can see you're leaning back quite a bit. So let's get your body on a more upright um, plane there, and that'll help you, depending on what kick, mate, but it's going to help you switch your core on, get your body upright a little bit more, um, and that'll help you with accuracy and distance. Okay, let's see where he finishes after he kicks. Okay, and also, and it's probably just the kick you're doing here, Phil, but let's get um, a little bit more momentum. So I'd like to see you finish at about that marker. So your body's there. I want to see you finish up here, okay? All right, so long, I know, but I had to get through a lot of you. So we would have been going about 30, 40 minutes, but that's all right. Um, hopefully I'll suggest some drills for you boys, um, and they're all on YouTube as well. So I'll just um, send them through to Phil. And all the drills are going to be about lifting the ball and guiding the ball down for you lot, okay? So all the best when your season starts, boys, and um, g'day from Australia. Cheers. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content, if you can please hit the subscribe button. Also watch a couple of videos linked in here, and you can put those alerts on so you know when our new videos drop. Thanks for watching.